Prince Andrew is being accused in a civil lawsuit, not a criminal lawsuit, that Virginia Jupre was forced to have sex with him and that these events took place in three different settings, in New York and in London and in the Virgin Islands, and that she was sexually trafficked and that she was 17 years old. We weren't even a human being to them. We were just another toy to be passed around. The allegations against Prince Andrew are from one of uh, Jeffrey Epstein's victims, Virginia Jupre. A lot of the victims of Jeffrey Epstein say that the actions against Ghislaine Maxwell, for example, who was found guilty in a New York court of sex trafficking, and now the action against Prince Andrew is a way to hold these people who were in Jeffrey Epstein's universe, circle, you know, accountable. The evidence against him on the civil trial seems damning, in the sense that there's a photograph of uh, Prince Andrew with his arm around the exposed midriff of Virginia Jufre. I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady. Prince Andrew said that he was not there that night. He thinks the photo was faked. He told this to the BBC. He doesn't remember that evening. He says he's never met this woman and that he didn't sweat, as she claimed, on the dance floor because he can't sweat. I, I, I have a peculiar medical condition, which is that I don't sweat, um, or I didn't sweat at the time, and that was, oh, was she? Yes, I didn't sweat at the time, because I um, ha had suffered what I would describe as an overdose of adrenaline in the Falklands War when I was shot at, uh, and I simply, it, it, was, it, was, it was almost impossible for me to, to, to sweat. The royal family uh, finds this very disconcerting, he has been cast aside uh, by his mom, who happens to be the Queen of England and the monarch. The Queen stripped him of all of his military honors, his titles, and his patronages. Prince Andrew will likely spend a lot of his life in some sort of 21st century banishment. He'll be in internal exile outside of the inner circle of the royal family. Lawyers who have been, we asked about the case suggest that he has to settle in one way or the other. If he goes to trial, um, it will be brutal. If he loses, it would be worse. His ultimate defense is that he didn't do it. If he really, really didn't do it and he wasn't there that night, he has to show up with some evidence to argue that case.